I think both banks have shown, uh, you know, uh, improvement in financial results. At the same time, you know, the uh, interim uh, dividend policy, you know, will be resumed. But still, we need to look at a uh, uh, broader spectrum, you know, in particular, people are actually taking a very cautious approach in the, towards financial institution, uh, let's say in Hong Kong, because um, uh, we may have some policy changes you know, towards the end of this month. You know, in particularly, uh, there has been market um, rumors saying that uh, Chinese government is going to uh, adopt anti-foreign sanction, uh, you know, uh, relevant regulations in Hong Kong. So it will put a financial institution in Hong Kong uh, in a very sensitive positions that political risk is something investors should be uh, taking care of uh, at this point of time. And on those political risks, if I could just uh, dive a little bit deeper there, would you say that HSBC is the most exposed of the, uh, the banks that operate here? Yeah, comparing to Standard Charter, you know, I think HSBC is the most exposed one because it's of the size of operations, uh, its connection with the you know European, America, you know financial community, and basically all the banks in Hong Kong are using US dollar as well. So basically, all the banks in Hong Kong will be exposed. You know, if that draft law uh, will be implemented in Hong Kong, I think banks need to take a very you know cautious approach as well. And it means that they will uh, have to have a pick whether they should focus on the Hong Kong China business or uh, the business elsewhere. Right, but from a 12-month perspective, Ronald, good morning, can we join in this conversation? Stan Chart has given a return of 15%, HSBC has given a return of 22%. So there's some catch-up mm. that Stan Chart needs to do. Um, I, I wonder what the results and the outlook can help that. Uh, definitely. We will look at the uh, the reason why HSBC has shown some sort of improvement, a bigger improvement than what we have expected is because lower operating costs. Uh, at the same time, they lower their you know bad debt provision uh, as well. Uh, so it gives a lot of room for HSBC, you know, in terms of its uh, improvement in its uh, financial uh, you know performance. But H uh, Standard Charters uh, will be in a different you know positions, you know, uh, because the size of or the size of its operation is smaller, and also uh, given the uh, you know expansion and cost issues, I think uh, Standard Charter will be in a less you know favorable position comparing to HSBC. And the growth um, in the second half of this year. Definitely, will be slowing down. Or we won't see that, um, you know, growth again in the second half of this year because we see the COVID situation and also uh, some challenge in the financial market uh, in uh, Hong Kong and also other areas will definitely affect the, you know, growth potential in the second half of this year. But still, you know, interim performance and the whole year performance uh, will back to normal when we're talking about the dividend policy.